Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand multi-valued attributes to database schema. In our first class of conversion, where we have converted the uh, works for relationship uh, with between the employee and the department table into database schema, there we have discussed that we are taking this location. So this location is a multi-valued attribute. In the requirements, it is given that every department will be there in multiple locations. So the the that statement itself states that this is going to have multiple locations so uh, to have better understanding uh, with the with the data so this is how it is going to look like okay, if the data is filled with uh, a department a department number one these are the details and uh, these are the locations of each and every department hyderabad vijayawada mumbai hyderabad department b is uh, department 2 is located in mumbai and hyderabad delhi and vijayawada and this department 4 is located in vijayawada and hyderabad so these multi valued attributes are not allowed in the table why because uh, whenever we try to access the details whenever we try to access the details then then these multi-valued locations are going to create some uh, uh, this using this multi-valued attributes we cannot access the details in an efficient way so and we have already discussed that every attribute in a table every column in a table should have only simple or atomic values which cannot be further divided that is the rule of the database so based upon that now we we have to change this uh, table uh, this locations has to be converted in such a way so that it should not be no more a multi-valued data uh, multi-valued column in this table in these cases in such cases of multi-valued attributes what we have to do is we have to bring it down we have to get it uh, out of this table and we have to create a separate table for this let's try to create the table so and the table consists of so obviously it is going to have locations this column is made into a separate table and apart from this this is con combined with the uh, primary key of this table so what is the primary key of this table it is department number so combining the department department number with the department locations why we have to do that why we have to take this department number as the another column of this table because these locations are belonging to this department that has to be that has to be understood right so in order to get that we have to uh, uh, take these two columns and we have to create a separate table so now we will try to create a separate table okay a separate table has been taken and in this we are <coughs> in this we are having two columns <coughs> sorry one is department number and the other one is locations d number and the other one is location so what we will do we will uh, we will try to relate each and every location to its corresponding department so the department one is having two locations hyderabad and vijayawada so we have to mention that one hyderabad and again one department one is having multiple locations the departments once department once second location is vijayawada is vijayawada and similarly if you take department number two it is located in mumbai and department number two is also located in hyderabad similarly department number three in delhi and the other one is vijayawada so uh, in department number four is located in Vijayawada and Hyderabad okay so now uh, this is the table that we have formed for uh, department locations and we will name it as the name of this table is DEPT underscore locations so it stands for department location so this is our new table that has been formed into the database schema so that we that is also get represented here so a new table has been formed and the name of this table is dept underscore locations and the columns of this table are d number and locations 
now the question is what is the primary table primary uh, primary key for this table if you take this department number can this be a primary key no the department numbers are uh, are uh, there in multiple columns multiple rows and if you take this can it be a uh, can it be a, a primary key locations no it cannot be a uh, uh, cannot be a primary key because the hyderabad wizard are, are available in different different uh, uh, rows so this cannot be a primary key so in this case what we have to do you think uh, uh, think more deeply so if you if you combine these two tables these two columns of the table into one if you consider these two as one uh, column what it means is if you take the combination of these columns as one and if you consider that as a primary key then this is going to be a primary key the combination of d, d number so both of them are the combining considering d number and locations the combination of both these two is going to be a is going to be a primary key because if you take this if department one is there means if we if we have to take these two combinations as a primary key the combination of these two so never ever we are going to get again one hyderabad one vijayawada never ever we are going to get because the department in the same location there there will not be two de departments of the same department type so department one uh, type will not be there uh, in vijayawada two times right so so by combining these two so if you consider the combination of these two column values into one value then it is going to be a primary key it is going to act like a primary key think of this logic so not only one single column can be considered as a primary key so this point we have already discussed there we have said that a combination of columns can also be considered as a primary key this is the right time to understand that point so whenever we are trying to create a primary key for the table it is not only required to take only one column as the primary key the combination of the combination of uh, 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 columns can be considered as the primary key values so the combination of the columns can be considered as the primary key so what 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 we have to understand is there should not be any other combination which is going to have one hyderabad if this is if we, if we if we try to insert this one this is not possible which is already existing okay so what you have to understand is a combination of columns can be considered as the primary key so in the declaration in the implementation of the primary key in a table what we have to do is uh, there we have said that primary key primary key is the keyword that is used with uh, one single column we have used but here we are going to give d number comma d locations so what it states is the combination of d number and d location so here it is locations d location d number and d location is acting like a primary key if you take the, both these values out there should not be any such value with one and hyderabad there should not be any row with uh, the same values so this combination of these two values is considered as primary key i'm stressing this point again and again to get the clarity okay so now in the representation in the database schema we have to underline these two so the the combination of d number and d locations is going to be is going to be the primary key okay so now our diagram has been changed with three tables the the three tables are these are the three tables and again the relationship so is there any relationship this this is going to have the relationship with this table because these locations are obtained from this table so the relationship is this d number this d number where this d, d number has been obtained from this d number is referencing this d number is referencing okay so i'm turning around 
the D number of the department. See here, this D number is referencing the D number of the department. So far, we have two, three tables uh, in our database schema, employee, department and department locations. And these are the relationship be, uh, among these three tables. One of the relation is D number is uh, uh, referencing D number of department and MGR SSN is referencing SSN of the employee and D number of the D department locations is referencing D number of the department okay so this is how the multi-valued uh, uh, attributes can be converted into the database schema hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching